Mm. The Todd and Don Show is on the air. You can join Todd and Don at 836-0590. Thank you. The following takes place between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. Who picks up your clothes? Here are Todd Jeffries and Don Pryor on (laughs) News Radio 590 KLPJ. Here we go. All right, we got a warning. We have a serious problem in the making. Go on. Apparently, the city of Sun City has been overcome with vultures. What? <laughs> well, I guess that'd be a good place for them. We see them every, every night circling all over, and then we see them down on the creek when they're, when they're roosting. They were right overhead, and that's the part I didn't care for because they, it smelled and the droppings would come down. You sound pretty old, lady. They might be coming for you soon. Uh, The population at the retirement resort unexpectedly skyrocketed. (laughs) Sun City in Georgetown has been uh, inundated with about a thousand vultures. Sure. Uh, They'll get the word out to the residents trying to figure out what they can do. It's a honey hole for them, man. Uh, uh, Apparently, one official says the vultures have darkened the skies of Sun City. Uh, Wildlife consultants are, are on the scene. Trying to save the uh, residents of Sun City from the vultures. Right. They came up from Florida. You know, they like the retirement <laughs> communities in Florida. Uh, Warren Buckner, he is the Sun City wildlife consultant. <laughs> so you, you have them flying down into backyards, actually eating pet feed and uh, things of that, pulling off barbecue covers. <laughs> that guy's looking pretty unsteady down there. I'm going to wait. This this might be a good one right here. They. <laughs> Well, look at the guy on the golf cart. They're trying to. He's gonna uh, be dead soon. They're trying to come up with di- different ways to scare off the vultures. <laughs> Those practices can include <laughs> effigies, where you hang an actual effigy in a tree to, to try to scare them and disperse them. Uh, we use noise, propane cannons, pyrotechnics. The trick is to find that harmony that uh-huh. that we can all coexist in. And sometimes in communities uh-huh. like this, it's a real challenge to sure. to be able to come up with that harmony. So the, the trick is to be young and not die. Uh, some residents fear the birds will uh, contaminate the local water supply. Uh, so now the community is taking action. They want to get these vultures out of here. It's a big problem. <laughs> Basically, anywhere where there are people that are driving around in golf carts off uh-huh. the golf course, right. they're going to be vultures just waiting. Move around a little bit. That's it. <laughs> just keep moving, folks. Keep moving. Chris and Leander on the Tide of Dodge Show. Hey, Chris. Hey, guys. You know, I heard this story, and I automatically I thought of those dogs that are in those hospitals that can sense cancer. Yeah. I wonder if they, I wonder if these birds have any kind of fish sense where maybe, I mean, maybe, maybe these people should look at this as a blessing. These birds are telling them who's going to go next. It's right. those 55 and over communities. Here are the phone numbers. They love the smell. 836-0590. Pending. Toll free, 877-590-5525. Death. <laughs> That's great. We see them every every night circling all over, and then I we bet. see them down on the creek when they're when they're roosting. They were right overhead, and that's the part I didn't care for because they it smelled and the droppings would come down. Listen, mm. <laughs> you got to move around, Ethel. Yeah, you really do. Start moving. And sleep with one eye open. Start flailing your arms or something. Yeah, and when you're coming out of the cafeteria at four thirty after dinner, look up <laughs> and keep moving.